We got a couple of bank fishermen here. Four bank fishermen. Wonder how they're doing. Sometimes it's really productive down here. And you can see there's a lot of bank access right in this area. When the fish are in, this thing will be lined up. There'll be 50 people here. The fish are just not in right now. How you doing? Pardon me? Oh, is that right? Yeah, well, thanks. I appreciate it. You doing any good? Yeah, this is my first trip down this year for steelhead, so we'll see what happens. I'm sorry? All right. Well, how about that? That happens everywhere I go. That's a guy that follows me on YouTube. He's one of, one of my subscribers. That is kind of cool. That really is kind of cool. And I want to tell you guys, I, I really appreciate all you guys who do subscribe. You know, it's, uh, it's humbling. It really is. Thank you. Setting up my rods, getting everything, you know, getting everything geared up. And it is literally storming out there. I mean, look at that. Honey, you better get out of that. My crazy wife, it is literally storming out here. It's, it's crazy. Look at that stuff is just, limbs are falling everywhere. Tree broke off and fell down the river just now. Limbs are falling. My wife is out here. Acting all crazy. <laughs> I'm a storm chief. <laughs> She's feeding the deer. But, you know, I don't need to catch a fish that bad. So I am not going to go fishing today. So this is my video for today. Sorry, folks. Ain't doing it. Wow. That is insane. This morning, I had a moment of weakness. I seen the trees swaying like I rarely see. Visions of fallen trees, out of control boats, just total pandemonium on the river because I can't control the boat. But I came to my senses after retying a bunch of leaders, getting my rods ready for the next possible time I'm coming down here. The river was calling my name. So in order to precipitate, I'm gonna hit her. And I'm gonna hit her hard. I overcame my fear and I realized when I asked myself this question, are you man or mouse? And I don't squeak, I'm man. Hey Russell, how you doing? How you doing? Good, any luck? No. No. I'm just fighting the wind. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna head all the way down and see what I can do down there with the crazy people. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, it's official. It's official. I am crazy. Those wind gusts are like 30 miles an hour. As you can see, I decided to go fishing. My goodness, okay. I have everything set up and ready to go. Multiple rods. Special super sauce here. Secret sauce. I'm gonna dip these in there. Okay. Whoo! My goodness, that was a crazy run. So I'm running down river 20, 20, 23, 20, 22, 23 miles an hour. And I've got a 20 mile an hour wind gust with rain blowing in my face, you know, 40, 50 miles an hour seems like. You know how the weatherman says it's 20 degrees, but it feels like 10? Well, 
That's 40 mile an hour wind, rain, rain against your face, feels like 100. I'm not kidding you. Getting pelted in the face, it's not fun. But here I am. <laughs> Crazy as it may seem. Oh gosh, okay, start off well. I'm starting off great. Starting off wonderful. Hooked up on everything already. That's perfect. Just how I like to start off. First cast, screw things up. Get it out of the way. Now my boat is right where I want to be fishing. Far for the course as my dad would say. What is going on here? I know what's going on. Okay. You didn't see that. That happened twice, but you didn't see it. Well, it only took me three casts into the wind to get that right. Snagged already. That's perfect. Just what I like to see. Right off the bat. Lose gear. It's awesome. Get it out of the way. Got to try to fight the wind at the same time of everything else. See the wind blowing my line. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, when the wind is not blowing, it's not bad. But fishing in the wind is one of the most difficult things to do. Casting, controlling the boat, just everything is, is really difficult, as you guys know. I'd rather fish in a downpour. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what was that? 
something said, Gene, wake up. Oh, that was a fish. Oh my, oh my goodness, that was a fish. Shoot. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that was a fish. Shoot. I felt that boom, boom, boom. Oh man, I'm gonna drift back through there. Okay, let's kinda go up there. Drift number two up here. I know I missed a fish down there lower, so I wanted to hit this spot one more time. The wind wants to blow me on the other side of the river. But I shall not be defeated. Rinse and repeat. Except for the getting hung up part, let's not repeat that. Over to the retie spot. No luck bobber dogging. So I'm pulling some plugs right now. And look at that. Look what we have up there on the hill. A couple of deer. Watching me fish. Wow, I just seen the most amazing thing. When you're running up the river, you chase up flocks of ducks. And there was a flock of ducks running out in front of me. And a, a hawk came down from the tree and took a swipe at one of them and missed it. But then, I went around the corner and the ducks were still in front of me and he came back down. I actually yelled at the hawk and I said, hey, there they are. And he came back down and he hit one of them and it's flipped in the water, hit it a couple times and he's wounded up there somewhere. That duck couldn't fly. It's almost dark. I gotta get going, but that was amazing. <laughs> Wow, Mother Nature. Okay. Look like a fish. See any down there? Nothing. Any luck? No, me neither. All right, well, I'm going to run up before it gets too dark. <laughs> okay. The eagle has landed. Whoo! Well, it actually turned out to be a beautiful day. The last couple hours, it was nice. I'm glad I didn't wuss out and not go. Didn't catch any fish, but hey, that's fishing. Maybe next time we'll catch some fish, who knows? 
thanks for thanks for joining me and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel please do so and i'm gonna get this thing out of here and go warm up so uh peace tight lines and next time i'll see you on the water I wonder where Russell is. He said he was gonna follow me. <laughs> <laughs>